Welcome to Geeks 4x4, and today it has come to my attention that I have never done a final video showing the completed rock sliders on the Bob Excursion, boat side rock sliders, the stuff. And today I am going to do that for you guys and show you exactly how we finish those off and just do a quick video showing that. I've had a lot of questions on this, so let me turn the camera around, show you guys exactly, I'm just going to talk through it, show you everything we did, bottom of the doors, bottom of the body, all the stuff. So anyway, let me stop yakking on this side of the camera and flip you around. Let's get going. All right. So we are going to start outside here and just show you guys what I ended up with. Um, we've got three sixteenths, two by two out on the outside and then a two by four on the inside. You can see the back of the two by four in there. So here's what I've got outside. All right. Let's pop the doors open. Well, start over here. So here's what we did on the bottom of the door. This is eighth inch plate on mine. Obviously don't need to use that, but we got a good deal on it, and that's what I used. So this is super solid. Um, we welded all the way around, except some terrible welds. Um, and it was hard. The issue with using this thick of metal was welding it to the sheet metal, because the welder, you know, and I didn't know what I was doing at the time, and I was using flux core, and it doesn't look pretty, but it's there. Uh, inside actual rock slider status stuff here. So we cut it right where it's flat. So uh, on yours, this comes out to right where the weld is and goes down to the original box. And what you're seeing right there is the cut completely across, and then we laid that 2 by 4 in there. So cut the bottom of the pillars, all three of them on the excursion. Um, and then tried to be pretty flush with this. You pulled these seals out and you got plenty of room in there to weld and set that up. And then on the back side, let's go underneath here. And I left some of the lip here so you can see this is factory sheet metal right here and then welded to the bottom of it along there. Again, this is all welding that I uh, didn't know what I was doing during. and so I learned, and that's okay, because you got to learn. But it doesn't look pretty, but it does exist. So, And then I just added these as the actual rock sliders, because these were not wide enough to go past the doors. And you could go wider. This is like a 2-inch block, I think, with the 2-inch thing. I maybe should have done 2.5 uh, to get me outside of the doors just a little bit more. But uh, we'll see when I get using them how bad the doors get beat up. But I have landed on them already, um, as shown by scratches, uh, and they're doing great. So that's exactly what I did here. So here's the back of this door, too. Oh, I need to paint some more on the bottom of this door. Uh, it's got primed, but it didn't get painted. Uh, there's the back door. Same thing. We cut where, where it went flat, pretty much. So the doors come around. And they go down into that, you know, little skirt that you're looking at. And I just took it kind of where this went flat and capped it. So I took it all the way out to the outside, capped the inside. And, um, yeah, it was funny. Without these on, it was so loud inside because of all the sound coming. I still haven't insulated the inside of these doors or anything, but it's just like factory now with them capped. So, yeah, there's an up-close look at exactly what I did and yeah there's you know that's the front door jam and it's just it's just clean it works they work really good finally I gave it to you an in-depth look at the boat side rock sliders that I built on the Bob excursion uh, say that three times fast kind of fun anyway I really really like them they they definitely give you I mean, the truck looks like it's really high, so if you want the lifted look without being actually high, then it does that for you. I don't really care about that, but it tucks everything up. I've only slammed on it a couple of times, um, and they're super stout. They're connected to A, B, and C pillars on this, and they, they should hold the weight of this truck, no problem. Um, went as high as I could, obviously, when I set that up in there, uh, and try to make it really clean. So, all 316 steel all fully welded um because i didn't know what i was doing and all kinds of different things so so yeah hopefully that's helpful to you if you are looking at 
doing this to one? If you are, I would love to hear about it. Please comment down below. Tell me what you're going to do it to. Share me some pictures uh, on the email, uh, geeks 4 by 4 at Gmail, if you would like. I would love to know what other people are doing, and I love to see your guys' projects. So do not hesitate to reach out. Thank you so much. We will see you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. Come on, this is YouTube. you got to do that. Bye.